Well, I got this dinky little case, which is a gramophone. That's how deep it is. I'll try and open this without the turntable starting. Here it worked. Okay, so this is a guinea phone. Guinea phone, G-U-I-N-I-P-H-O-N-E. The most portable gramophone in the world, apparently. Um, there's the label from when it was made. 28th of the 11th, 1929. Um, the original paper cone isn't there, but someone has made one, which does the job. I'll try and make something better than that. Some instructions which have been chopped up and in different languages on the back. Um, 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 um. So, you have to lay the lid right open and the arm pivots like that. Goes all the way around there to a stop pin, which I didn't realize that's what that was. And then the needle is inserted in the arm there. And this bit unscrews. Then you've turned that into a cone. And that screws back in the top. Now I'll have to cut to that because I can't do it one-handed. Okay, so that's that in place. <laughs> I've got a 45 adapter to hold it together. Can't find a paper clip. It's doing the job though. Um, and so that's that. The little winding handle goes on there. And that just turns to wind the motor up. Speed controller there. And the stop start <laughs> the stop start lever right so i shall play a tune on it now great little thing so uh the old record this is sid phillips not sure how much wine's in it The idea of that and I will upload that record playing in a little bit and underneath the platter is the motor which turns very nicely it's a little bit noisy I'll sort that out um, there's no markings on the top so I've no idea who's who's made that but you better find out from underneath I expect um, Brake, speed, as I've said, that's about it. Yeah, great little thing. Needle trays, did I say them? I think I did. They pop out. There's two little holes there. Very, very clever. Very well designed. Lovely.